Welcome to a special video in which we would like to show you what a typical day looks like when bike touring in Southeast Asia. We're just ready to leave and it's been really nice here um, in Cambodia. We've used monasteries quite a lot um, and it's, uh, it has allowed us to sleep in remote areas where of course there are no guest houses, there are no hotels. Uh, we could have wild camped because we are prepared for that, but it's nice at the end of the day to get um, a nice shower with cold water and we have some company because the monks are always really, really nice and really uh, smiley. Yeah. We had a very good time in Cambodia. Uh, okay. People are very nice, very smiley. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your hospitality. Yes. <laughs> maybe we'll see you again. Good luck. Today, it's actually a special day because we're going to uh, cross a border. We are right now in Cambodia. We're in a very small town called Palun and um, it's a border town. Thailand is just four kilometers that way and today we're going to cross the border. So we just want to show you how it works, how a uh, typical crossing a border by bicycle day is. And we cross our fingers and hope everything we, will go well because we are not very lucky with borders. We just had a blessing from uh, a monk, so it should be okay, right? Let's go! Palin, the village where we're now, is actually very famous for casinos. Uh, it's a very, very long story, but the whole town is just full of casinos. Uh, if you can see behind me, that's actually the border. And as soon as you cross into Cambodia, there's just casinos everywhere. And uh, we had just a little bit of... Uh, Local currency left, so we decided to get an early morning sugar cane juice. I think it's a lot of sugar for the morning, but it's okay. So we'll be uh, in Singapore today, so we're gonna cross three countries. You know, we're gonna be super excited at the border, right? So our first step is to get the exit stamp from Cambodia. Okay, so we've already been here an hour. Uh, the problem is that Aurelie has two passports because her old one was full, so she got a new one and that's where her uh, Thai visa is but the exit stamp from Cambodia is in the old passport and apparently that's a huge problem they want us to go back to uh, Phnom, Penh. Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia it like. took us two weeks to get here uh, so for us it's not really an option the 
the Cambodia administration is not helpful at all. They just we asked them to put just to put another stamp in the new passport, and they said no, no, no. You have to go to Phnom Penh. And now the Thai people, I think they're trying to help us, but I don't know if they can. They cannot speak to each other with the Cambodians. Like everyone is sticking to its rules, and it's very confusing because we have no idea about all of this. Mm. And for us, it's just like a matter of paper and number, and which blocks you to go further. So there were two options, or go back to Phnom Penh and get the exit visa paper to put on my new passport. It would mean in taking a lot of days and paying a lot of money. And the other option is to get the three days visa uh, for Thailand for free. 30 days. 30 days, and then in a lot, trying to find a way to extend it to two months uh, in Thailand. So we've opted for the second option. Uh, any cases, it's a lot of money, so let's just forget about this and go to Thailand and we'll fix the problem later. But it's not a really nice experience because it's the law, it's the law, they all say that on both sides, but we finally don't have any information and we are the ones to suffer from it. But you know, we're talking about two great Buddhist nations, you know, they're always talking about Buddha this and they're always talking about Buddha that, and then you're trying to explain to them like an honest, uh, problem that you have, you know, it's not even a problem. All they need to do is just put another stamp in another passport. But no, 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 suddenly they get all angry and you're pissing me off and get out of the way. And so, you know, great. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, if Buddha could see you now, hey. First few kilometers in Thailand. What do you notice? Nothing? Really? Let me show you, let me show you. Yeah? First thing, we're driving on the left because Thailand is one of those countries. And second thing, it's hilly. Really, really hilly. In a, in a few kilometers, we've already climbed almost 300 meters. So uh, at least I'm really enjoying it. I don't know where Aurelie is. She's somewhere back there. So let's have some fun. A very bad start to the day. We got to a town. We actually managed to change some money so we could uh, get some food. It wasn't easy to find actually, but it's okay. We had our first uh, Thai lunch of the year. We uh, also managed to recharge our SIM card so we got some internet so we can post some stuff to you and then to treat ourselves. We decided to come to this nice place to have a coffee, to get some energy. It's uh, a little bit uh, more expensive than what we used to pay for coffee, but it's okay because here we can actually pay using this baby. So it's like it never happened, you know? And now we're just chilling for a while. Well, I chilled. Everybody's working hard. She's making a video. And soon we're gonna leave. We're gonna face the heat again and then we can find a place to sleep. But already we can see the difference between Cambodia and Thailand. Uh, the roads here are outfat uh, almost everywhere. Uh, two, two double lanes. Um, it's very modern, there's infrastructure everywhere. There's even a bicycle parking. Amazing. Uh, we didn't see any of that in Cambodia, but more than Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar, 
months ago we haven't seen a sign like this. Good cycling in Thailand. Yeah, all we have to do now is like border laws. <laughs> Today is a special day, not only because we crossed the border, but also because we got some little uphill and now we have a nice downhill that we're gonna enjoy. It's really nice because last time we had some mountains was a month ago and the next one will also be in a month. So you know we like mountains and we are going to enjoy this a lot. Let's go! So the shoulder is not really wide and it's not in really good state. And there's a lot of traffic, so we have to be careful, but we'll try to enjoy it anyway. One universal truth about cycling is that it makes you hungry. So we eat a lot, of course. <laughs> Sorry, Aurelie just got stuck on a fly trap. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, we eat a lot, so we have to find food uh, all, the time. all the time. Yeah, we spend half of our time looking for food. And for example, here we found these ladies that sell dishes to take away. So we might have this uh, for dinner and with some lentils that we have in our bags. Yeah, normally we prefer cooking at night to have a salad or something like that. But today it's been a stressful day. I really cannot be bothered to do anything. So we might just buy some of this. Shadows are getting longer and we need to start finding a place to sleep. We found this place, we don't really know what it is. I mean, from far away it looked like a temple, but it's probably not. No. Uh, hello. But we're gonna try and ask anyway. But we saw a big part of that before. Yeah, I don't know what happened. No. Wow, what is this place? <laughs> Ah, oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, I think it's also under construction though. Okay, ah, maybe here to the left, there's a road. <laughs> the first time we've seen it. Yeah, I, if, I think it's, it's some kind of resort. I mean, it looks really nice. Even the pagoda is, uh, the size is so different from what we've seen so far. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> There's a normal looking pagoda over there. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a temple. It looks like a fancy temple. Let's see. Let's see if today something can go easily. It would be nice. Sahikra, Sahikra. Is, is it possible uh, here uh, to sleep? But it's, uh, oh. <laughs> ah, thank you. Komerang. Ah, we always forget how to say thank you.
Não, como, como que o. Como que o. Como que o carro? So, uh, the monks, I think they're pretty used to cyclists. Yeah, they were uh, right away, they said, oh, sleep, okay, yeah, come. Yeah. So now we have to follow the monk who went inside. Yeah. So normally we are, uh, we try to act by saying, oh, no, we don't want to disturb you. Oh, are you sure it's okay? No but problem. today, yeah, but today we, uh, we can't. <laughs> like, we don't have the morale. So we just accept it straight away, and the monk is showing us something. Okay. Oh, storehouse. Okay. Ah, the carpet. The mats. Yeah, he said you could take the carpet. Ah, okay. So Before take a store. take a couple, and basically this looks like a storehouse for when they do. Ceremonies? Oh, when they just have breakfast, maybe. Maybe it's the breakfast hall, yeah. Oh, nice tables. It's great. We yeah. put the mats on the floor. We can put the, the mosquito net on the carpet. We have a fan. We have electricity. Look at that baby. Uh, we have a bench to put our stuff and probably put the bicycle inside. They will certainly advise us to do so. Mm. The bench is actually. Uh, a great commodity we don't normally have, so uh, it's going to be great. So let's watch a movie. Yeah, actually, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so now all we have to do is wash, unpack, prepare the tent, uh, have some dinner, then wash the dishes, do and some then media. yeah, and then uh, maybe go to bed. <laughs> That's all we have to do. In three hours. Let's okay. do it. Having our dinner in our tent, uh, we have what we bought before at the market, and we added some cauliflower we had from yesterday. And uh, we are having dinner in our tent, although we are in a building because there are a lot of mosquitoes and they are very hungry. They bite at us all the time, so we're better inside, but it's really hot, so it's not always as we would like to be. I don't know if you can realize the size of this insect, it's a beetle. We forgot about this when we were in Thailand um, last time. We saw monks uh, raising these beetles for fightings. And we have one here and it's enormous. Finally, bedtime. Uh, I'm really happy this day is over. Yeah. It was definitely not our best day, but okay, it's another day and we survived. I mean, we know when uh, we have to cross a border, there's always a possibility that we have problems, but we thought that all the problems were behind us, and uh, it's a way to show you that it's not always happy and nice and nature, we also have to face these difficulties where we cannot do anything about it. Mm. 
But apart from the border, we also had problems. I don't know. It was a, it, it was a difficult day. Everything was a no. Mm. So it's when you learn like okay, it's no, but maybe it can be yes. So you have like to breathe and be patient mm. and explain again. And if finally it's no, well, you have to think of a plan B. Mm. Yeah. It definitely changes our perspective on a lot of things and also it's funny because now I really don't feel like I want to spend like a lot of time in Thailand but it's just a feeling that you get and it's funny because I mean today we met, actually met a lot of nice people. Yeah, we are at this monastery and mm. we could speak here without yeah. any problem. Hopefully the scorpion won't kill your face <laughs> during the sleep. Yeah. Inshallah. Our tent is uh, scorpion proof? I don't know. Let's test it. Answer in the next episode. Good night. We decided to try our chance and go to an immigration office close to the border, which was on our way, uh, to tell them about my problems, about the two visa and the uh, two passports and uh, in 10 minutes they solved it they transferred the visa in my old passport and they put it in the new passport so now I can go to the next country with the visa and the passport and everything is solved sorry I have a question yes is about that, the visa is that really a, an immigration office it looks like from like a movie science fiction movie uh, it looks like a banana